Legends of unexplainable creatures have permeated the age of man. Some, such as the mermaid and Sasquatch, found depicted within some of the oldest cave paintings on Earth, with many accounts found within New World history made and documented upon differing continents far before either were ever apparently in contact with each other. Accounts of these creatures have continued to surface over the years. The skunk ape, the moth man, along with many others, reportedly encountered by several independent witnesses at the same time, with a number of these experiences even reportedly photographed. These images are now touted as proof of their existence by those who snapped them. With the number of reports of apparent cryptids, just within the last few decades alone, being in the thousands. Some of these claims obviously hold more water than others, the Loch Ness Monster being one example, some being so convinced by the purported evidence of its existence, dedicating their entire lives to the pursuit of the creature. Our reasoning behind our decision to investigate this creature, however, is due to the astonishing claims made and seamlessly collaborated with each other regarding an event involving two enormous reptilian-looking birds which swooped down and attempted to snatch a young boy all the way back in July of 1977. On the 25th, a police report was made and a subsequent search for the creature occurred. A mass search, a terrified boy and mother, along with many other witnesses over the coming years, would come forward within the state of Illinois in the U.S., all claiming they had witnessed something many would simply dismiss as impossible if it weren't for the incredible corroboration of the event made by those who witnessed it on that fateful day. A pair of creatures which have now become infamously known as the Thunderbird, a possible breeding pair of living flying dinosaurs, most reminiscent of a pterodactyl targeted 10-year-old Marlon Lowe while he was playing in his backyard in Lawndale. One of the, quote, birds latched onto Marlon and began to take flight with the boy. His mother instinctively took to battling with the creature, managing to rescue her son from its enormous talons. The creatures, reportedly startled with his reaction, then made their escape. The flurry of activity caught the attention of many people nearby who all also claim to have witnessed these creatures making their escape. Reportedly weighing some 50 to 70 pounds, if this Jurassic-sized creature does indeed still exist, it may be due to an enormous cyclical hibernation period. The flying reptiles would, however, have a wingspan many meters in length. So the chances of it going unnoticed for very long, we feel, are near to impossible. Yet, that does not take anything away from these people's claims, testimonies which they have all stuck to, convinced of what they saw, and indeed what Marlin experienced that day in 1977. What do you think regarding the existence of the Thunderbird? Real or just a hoax? We find such claims highly compelling.